Hi and welcome. In this tutorial, we'll see how to create rain in Unity using the particle system. The first step is setting up the scene. So let's create a plane here by going to 3D object plane and we'll reset the transform of the plane. I have a black material here, so let's assign that to the plane. So you'll have to be in the scene view to assign it. This is not a requirement, I'm just doing it so that the rain will be visible. So next we need to add a particle system. So just click on the plus sign and go to FX particle system. Then in the particle system, just reset the transform. Also in the particle system component, reset all the properties of the particle system. Now let's keep the particle system at a height say 10. So we'll set Y to 10 so that the rain will fall from here onto the plane. Now let's set the properties of the particle system. So duration, we can have something like two seconds. Then looping will be true because we want it to be continuous. Then we don't want any start delay. Uh, lifetime, we can keep for two seconds. We'll set the start speed to zero because we'll be setting a velocity in the downward direction. The size can be as small as possible, let's say 0.1. Now all the particles are originating from the same place in a sphere shape. That's because the shape of the emission is set to sphere. So let's go to the shape property of the particle system and set it to box. And we'll scale it by 10 times in the X and 10 times in the Z. So now it looks like a box, okay? So it will start raining from here and it will fall on the plane. Now our particles are not falling down, so we'll set a velocity. So check velocity over lifetime. And in the linear property, set the y to minus 20. So now our rain is falling down. So we'll just have the game view here so that we'll be able to see how it looks in the game view. So now the rain is falling down, but you can see the raindrops look circular, which is more like a snowflake. So when the raindrop actually falls from the sky, it gets elongated. So to have that elongated effect, just go to renderer and in the render mode, select stretch billboard. And then set the length to say 10. So now it looks like rain. Now the number of particles for the raindrops is very less. So just go back to emission and set the rate over time to 100. So now it looks like heavy rain, but the raindrops are actually passing through the plane. So we don't want that. So we'll enable collision for them. So we have to go to the collision parameter, enable collision, set the type to world. So as soon as you set the collision type to world, you can see that the particles are actually bouncing off the plane and moving up. So we don't want that to happen. So set bounce to zero. So now the particles are just staying on the ground. We don't want that to happen either. So we'll set the lifetime loss to one. So basically all the particles will disappear on collision with the plane. Now when a raindrop hits a surface, it basically has a splash effect. So to change that, we'll have to add a sub emitter particle system. So sub emitter particle system is like when this particle ends, that particle system starts. So we want that to start on collision. So just go to sub emitter, enable it. Then in place of a birth, select collision. Then we need a new particle system for that. So click on the plus sign. So this adds a new particle system that is spawned when this particle basically ends. So you can see when the raindrop hits the surface, uh, a new particle system is spawned. Now we'll have to change the settings of the child particle system so that we have the raindrop splash effect. So now in your hierarchy, you will basically have another particle system sub emitter. Now here set the duration to one, uh, lifetime to one, start lifetime. Then the start speed will basically be 0.1 because we don't want it to move very far. Then size will be very small, say 0 0.01. So you can see here now we are slowly starting to get some raindrop splash effect. In the emission, let's set the count to 10. It's already set to burst, so we'll just set the count to 10. Now, if you take a closer look, these are basically spears. So 
when a raindrop hits it creates a small crater on the surface and basically that's a very small crater which is a hemisphere so let's set the shape of this uh, child particle system as hemisphere so now it looks very good like rain so that's it you have created rain you can play around with the color settings and set the alpha value of the rain particles to make it look even better you can also use some custom textures depending on the type of game you're making so if you have any other questions regarding creating this rain effect feel free to leave a comment below thank you and see you in the next tutorial thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share